Hello, my lovely Aquarians. Uh, I'm Lisa from Cardelian Moo. I'm sorry I've been absent for a while. I went down with a cold on Christmas Day. Um, I don't know if any of you saw some of the readings I sort of done on Boxing Day. Um, and my voice was slowly going well it actually went um, much to my son's joy uh, and it's only just coming back I've still got a bit of a cold but I feel fine everything's good um, and I just want to do some love readings for you from now until uh, mid-February say say the 13th 14th you know Valentine's Day I want to do something nice for all my subscribers for Valentine's Day a special sort of in-depth more in-depth love reading so apologies for being away I am kind of back now I'd like to say with a vengeance but I'd be lying um please bear in mind that this is a general read for your sun sign if um, take what resonates what doesn't don't try and make it fit don't try and push it into your life because that can make things go screwy um bear in mind energies can go one way or the other so if it's not you it might be the person you're dealing with uh what was the other thing i wanted to say don't forget to check your um moon sign your rising and your venus if you feel it doesn't resonate at all and um, if this is your first time here thank you very much for joining me i really appreciate it um, and hopefully you will like what you see if you do please hit the like button and please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification button which may be there maybe there i'm not sure um but anyway yes please feel free to do that without further ado let's get into your reading um i'll see where you're at first um and then i'll see where your partner or or whoever you're thinking of is at and then if sometimes the readings are coming out a lot lately with um um sounding more for people that are already in a relationship but that, that's happened a couple of times lately so what i will do is if, if it's sort of transpiring more into that kind of reading i will then pull some cards for you single aquarians okay so we can see where things are at for you okay so some of you are feeling quite independent at the moment working on your own thing dealing with your own life very independent actually but we're reminiscing and we're reminiscing and what we're reminiscing about i could be thinking this might be for some single mums as well because this can come up read as a single mum okay 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 i don't know all right so I wonder if you feel like you've got a choice that you need to make that you're not too sure what way to go oh. with a man you hold in very high regard I mean very high regard okay this you're confusing me already so You've got this independent energy about you at the moment where you're just getting on with things working doing what you want to do um you are thinking about children possibly grandchildren i don't know how old you are but you're also reminiscing is it is this a person from your past is this it could possibly be this is someone from your past and you're wondering whether to give them another try that could be feasible that looks very feasible actually could be a possible fire energy and if you do give them another try at the moment it's looking like it would be successful let's not jump the gun okay right we have either got a guy that you high, hold in high regard and you're thinking about whether whether to give them i think it's someone that you've dated before or you know already know and you're thinking about whether to give them a child in a relationship now we've got a couple of ways this can go if if you do the you know then it, it is going to work out it's going to be like a whole brand new relationship it's going to feel like when you were a teenager if you are a teenager lucky you um it's going to fit it's going to be lovely it's going to feel like a whole brand new relationship it's it's going to be good it will work it's going to be you know victorious shall we say okay i'll come back to you um now the other way this can lead is that you are deciding between two people 
and you're not too sure which way to go. Now, the reason I've said this and the reason I checked the bottom of the deck is because this is about juggling, okay? So you could be juggling two people and you're trying to decide which way you want to go, okay? Now, if you're thinking, the first thing I said, if you're thinking of giving this guy who you hold in high regard another chance, the cards are saying, yes, do, it will be great, okay? If the story um, resonates where you've got a choice of two, what I'm going to do is split these two guys into one there and one there, and I'm going to pull a couple of clarifying cards to see if we can work out which would be the best, better option for you, okay? But let's have a look. Okay. Right, the guy you hold, you hold in high regard is actually offering you and does want to move forward with you, probably is offering you love and, and, and it's possible you you may not be noticing how much you might think he's not offering love at all. And he actually is, okay? This is the guy you hold in high regard, the guy you look up to. And I see it moving forward if you notice that he is actually offering you love. He's offering a relationship. Right. Tell me about this fire sign. Possible fire sign, I should say. So it, it, this could be, I mean, <laughs> the fire sign could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be someone who is uh, very passionate in what they do. Um, it could be someone who um, is very creative. You know, some someone along them lines. This other guy, though, that you hold, you hold in high regard, you almost see him as um, a sort of regal person. So he may be um, quite old school in gentleman, gentlemanly values. He's probably got his own business or something like that. Works for himself. He's self-employed in some way. Okay, so this possible fire sign. Let's have some um, clarifications on this person, please. Right, so I don't feel this is a couple reading, so I feel like this is more you you singles have come out first this time. So I um, will do this and then do a um, a quick look for people who are already in a relationship or in couples. Okay, give me some clarifications on this six of wands, please, on this fire. Also, again, someone who, who knows his own worth is, again, could be, could have his own business. It's very, very strong energy. Very passionate man, very creative, very, knows his worth. Oh, they're both good options, to be fair. I'm glad I'm not you. They are both good options. Give me another clarification on this at the moment. We'll get another card, just to be sure. Wow, well, you are lucky, Aquarius. Obviously, this being independent, standing on your own two feet, and 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 you know, being there for yourself is is obviously drawing them like moths to a flame. Come on, give me one more card, please. Thank you. Oh, now see this one's showing the soulmate connection. This is your fire energy sign. Oh God, that's a tough call. I'm not helping you at all, really, am I? In fact, if anything, I've probably just made it worse. Sorry, but that is a tough call, Aquarius. It's definitely a new luck. They're both good offers. I'd almost be tempted just to flip a coin. The thing is, though, this fire sign energy, I don't, I'm wondering if this is someone new. Because then at least you can make a decision on, do I want to try again with someone else or someone new? Oh, hello, there's someone else. Actually, you know what, this, because you've now got the king of souls. What are you doing? 
this could be someone you sit down and speak to about it um, and say, look, you know, I've got these options. It doesn't have to be a man, by the way. It could be um, an, another air sign, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius like yourself. You might sit down and go, these are my options. What would you do? Do you know what I mean? Now, or the other thing this card could mean is maybe you need to sit down with both of them, not at the same time. <laughs> sit down with both of them and have like proper, honest, upfront conversations with them. And, and see what see what transpires. See if that helps you decide. You're going to have to choose one or the other, though. Otherwise, you, you can't juggle them both. All right, give me one more message regarding these guys for our Aquarians, please. Give me one more message. They're both good. I'm really torn for you. I think one, one would bring more um, more traditional values and more um, would probably be um, a, a better provider um, and things like that. The other one would bring more passion and fun and, and creativity. So I guess it depends where, where what sort of house you want to live in. Well, it will be what house you want to live in, but um, so to speak. But yeah what you want from your life at the moment i suppose as to what one you choose please give me one more message for our, our very torn aquarians here they are both good they really are they're both good oh ah, okay all right so what i think you're going to do or what i would advise you to do is sit down have a conversation with both of them at separate times, like I said, I'm not in the same room altogether. Be honest about yourself. Be um, Use your brain on this one. Think about it. Let them know as well. Be clear and concise with them what, what you want out of life, what you're looking for in a relationship. And then I think one of them will present himself more to you than the other. And that will help make your choice. That's what I feel will happen. But you need to sit down and have a very, very honest, upfront um, conversation with them both first. And then one of them will just present himself in a better way or, or will make a bolder move or something like that. Yeah, love again. Queen of Cups. You are a you have definitely done something, I tell you, to um, make them see you in this way. You've done, and I think it's where you've been independent and you stood on your own two feet. Foot, 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 sorry, feet. And um, yeah, you've, you've definitely, I mean, and they're both good men. They are both good men. I don't see any issues with either of them. They're both really, really good men. I would sit down and have the chat. And I would, uh, and I would also, like this Queen of Cups is also telling me as well that when you sit down and have the chat, do you know what I mean? Be honest about your emotions as well. Use your mental clarity, all right, um, which you're good at. And you're good at articulating. You are good at articulating, so use that. But let them know emotionally what you expect from relationships and things like that as well, guys. And then one of them will step up to the plate. One of them will be will step up to the plate properly. That's what I feel is going to happen for you. Okay, so that was you single guys. So I'll just do a quick reading for you guys that are already in a relationship. Hi Aquarian, sorry about that. A fuse went and everything went. Um, so you'll notice in this video there's been a bit of a jump. Um, it sort of stopped very suddenly and, and I'm hoping I can join both the videos together. I've <laughs> never done that before, so what could possibly go wrong? But anyway, let's see where we're at for you um, Aquarian couples. You know, you guys that are already in a relationship, so to speak. Let's see where things are at for you. And um, like I said, yes, yeah, sorry, a fuse went and everything just shut down. Thankfully, I'm a woman who knows what she's doing when it comes to fuse boxes. So, sorry, I've got my cig I had a cigarette because I'm stressed out. So you don't mind, do you? I was like, ah, everything's gone. Thankfully, the video had already saved. So 
So um, let's see where we're at for you couples. Okay, hon. So can we have spirit, please? Can we have Aquarius up to mid February? Those are already in a relationship. Tell me what information we have for them. My dog's now got his head stuck with cat flap. He's gone. So yeah, sorry about that um, breakdown in the middle of the video, guys. Okay. So you've just completed something, and this is a love reading, so maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's um, some sort of emotional change within yourself, because we've got the world card here. See what else comes up for you guys. But I don't think you would have just finished a relationship considering we're talking about couples. Get your head into gear, Lisa. This could be a change within your relationship. Sorry, I, I will get my head in gear in a minute. I think I had so many cold and flu remedies over the last couple of weeks and, and lozenges and God knows what else. I honestly think they've fried my brain. Right, Lisa, you're doing Aquarian couples. Remember that. I'm going to start again. again. Sorry, guys. Very, very mentally dyspraxic, should we say, at the moment. Okay. Where are we at with our couples? Oh, there's a, bit, a few too many, guys. I don't know if some of you have got an earth sign. The earth signs are uh, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Or there could be some things going on in your relationship at the moment regarding money. Come on, guys. Okay. Uh, I will, I will. Okay, interesting. Okay, so, there's, so what we've got for you at the moment is that there could be there could be some money issues regarding children at the moment. Some of you could be dealing with that. Your partner may be feeling a bit emotional at the moment, or you may be feeling a bit emotional emotional at the moment. Well, we've got some. Let me clarify, hang on, before I continue with this, let me clarify, because it's, it's gone a bit, a bit sort of bitty. I feel there's possible arguments over money and children at the moment. I feel that's what could be going on. And one, um, one of you is getting quite emotional about this. Now, you could be dealing with an air sign like yourself, a water sign or an earth sign. That someone is emotional. And someone someone needs to cut through some bullshit here. I'm not really sure. You or, or your significant other feels like um they're not really sure what to do. Let me see. That's the smoke's annoying me now. You're not really sure what to do. One of you isn't really sure what to do or how to handle this situation. I do feel it's something to do with finances and children. I do feel someone's got quite emotional about it. I mean, the outcome's okay from what I can see at the moment. It'll be fine, but it's just... One of you doesn't know what to do for the best. And one of you is saying, one of you is convinced you've got the winning answer. Let's clarify this. Clarify this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, one of you is like away with the fairies at the moment. One of you it feels like they're dealing with everything by themselves. 
and the other one isn't really pulling their weight. The other one's walking around like, I don't know what's going on in life. I'm, I'm fine. Everything's good. Everything's groovy. I've, I've got everything under control and, and everything isn't actually under control. And this has left the other one feeling like they're the one um, who's got to deal with everything. They're the one who's got who's got to sort it out, sort this issue out. Like I said, I, I do think it's something to do with money, possibly children, money and children or children. Um, this, is the, this is going to bring a change in your relationship, not bad change. It is going to change the dynamics. And that world card jumped out, didn't it, first before I restarted. And again, I said that could be changing the dynamics. It's going to be fine in the end. This is, this is just going to be a bit of a bumpy a, a bumpy ride for you guys at the moment. Let me just see if I can get anything else. Yeah, again, I just said this with um cap. No, with the um single queries, you just need to start um being more clear and concise in your communications and what you're trying to say and what you're trying to articulate. Because I think you're both on different pages here. And like I said, with regards to probably finances or children, but you're both on different pages here. The love hasn't gone. The love's still there. But one of you feels like they're carrying, carry, either carrying the relationship or carrying the situation, whatever it is that's going on between you at the moment. And the other one's like, everything's great. What are you talking about? Everything's fabulous. Everything's groovy. They just can't see it. They just can't see what the situation is. So I think, I think again, a poor Aquarian has got to sit down and have a chat with everyone at the moment. Um, I think you're going to have to sit down and have a talk. Have a talk, because I, I just don't think they're, I think they're all over the fairies. Either you or they are all over the fairies at the moment, and there's no idea that there's this situation, or this issue, or whatever it is is going on. Give me one more, please. Thank you. Oh, I've caught them with my legs. Yeah, I think, okay. One of you is convinced there's, there's there's this issue, this situation, like I say, could be to, to do with money or children, all right? And the other one is like, everything's fine, I don't see what your problem is. And even when you sit down and have a chat with them, they're gonna, they, they might feel like you're crying over spilt milk. Like, you know, you really have no reason to be, oh, really, you really have no reason to be stressed or upset. And like I said, bear in mind it can be you or them, okay? And when you have this conversation and they're like, but everything's fine, what's your problem? Um, or you'll say to them, but everything's fine, what's your problem? They're going to feel a bit um, wounded by that, or quite a bit wounded by that. Give me one more, please. The love's still there. I don't see any, any issues with the love between you. I feel, like I said, I just think one of you is away with the fairies and the other one is is saying but we've got issues and um the one that's oh it might not be one one's away with the phase one thinks you have issues the other one doesn't and when when these issues are brought to the other one's attention the other one's going to be what you're talking about everything's fine you're, you're just you're just moaning or you're just bitching or or you know and that's going to make that person feel like their their feelings or their thoughts or whatever aren't valued by you or yours by them like i said vice versa Give me one more, please. Too many. But like I said, the love's still there. But someone is feeling very emotional and someone is going to feel um, like their feelings, or, or, or especially when they're sat down and discussed, aren't... Um, are taken into consideration. Someone's going to feel a bit wounded by this. But I must reiterate, the love is still there. One more, please, guys. Come on. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yes, it will get through it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and and you're you're you. Oh, it's, it's it is going to change the dynamics of your relationship to a degree. Do you know what I mean? It's it is gonna check, but it's still strong, the love's still there. I wouldn't I wouldn't stress too much about it. I really, really wouldn't. Just have one more. Yeah, so your love's still there, guys. Two cups, soulmates. Your love's still there, everything's fine. This is just a little bit this is a, a bump that you've sort of got to go through. Um 
you know, express your feelings to each other. If 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 you feel they're not appreciating your feelings, you know, don't think it's that they don't love you or anything like that. It is fine. Everything's everything is going to be fine. Vice versa. If it's the other way round, you know, they might feel that you don't appreciate their feelings, and they may feel that you, you're not really loving them, but you are. Do you know what I mean? So I think this is a. a, a you know, when you have the conversation about whatever the situation is, bear in mind um, that one of you may end up feeling that way. Do you know what I mean? And, and try not to take it personally or try and do something so that they don't feel that way. All right, guys. OK, my lovely Aquarians, that's that's you guys. Um, couples and singles have both been done. Um, if you like the video, um, please hit the like button. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you're not. If you hit the notification bell, that will let you know whenever I'm um, bringing up any other new videos or any new collaborations. We've got quite a few in the pipeline that should be coming up soon. And um, they're still all in discussion at the moment, but hopefully they'll be coming up very, very soon. Um, like I said, always check your uh, moon rising and venus signs as well um uh, anything else no i think i've done everything so anyway yeah sorry about the jump in the middle of the video guys i'm gonna hopefully get this video attached to the um rest of the aquarius video that i done but the fuse box just went for some reason and everything died so um apologies for about the break in the middle of it but again like i said that is your reading up until your love reading up until the middle of february so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you again soon thanks bye